Hi, Mark Heath here, and in this video I'm going to look at a few more link extension methods that are to do with kind of calculating combinations or permutations of items. And these methods are really useful in solving some tricky problems. So here I've just got a very simple array of strings with four elements, A, B, C and D. And first of all, let's look and see what permutations does. So if we get the permutations of this, we'll see that we get an I enumerable of arrays of strings um, or lists of strings and it's giving us basically every permutation. So A, B, C, D, A, B, D, C, A, C, B, D, and so on. And just to make this a bit more readable, what I've done is I've chained on a select here that takes the four elements um, and just puts them into a string using another li more link extension method which is called to delimited string although my delimiter is just an empty string so basically it will just concatenate them together so if we run these first couple of lines here we can see there are 24 permutations of a b c and d and so this is a b c and d every every one of these has got four elements in it and it's just in every possible order so if you need to if you've got a sequence and you just need to get everything in every possible order, then this is a great method, although bear in mind that the number of permutations explodes the longer your um, input sequence gets. The second method is called subsets. And so let's just comment this bit out and we'll look at what are the subsets of this. And subsets is basically every subset that you can take from here. So one of the valid subsets would be an empty subset, nothing. Another valid subset would be just A. Another one would be just B. Another one would be A and B. And another one would be all four. However, um, ordering doesn't matter in this. So A and B is, is not going to appear as well as B and A. So let's run this and just look at the subsets. And so here we can see there's an empty one, there are four subsets of just one item, then there are a bunch of subsets of two items, and then there are a bunch of subsets of three items, and finally there's a bunch of subsets, well there's just one subset of all the items. You can filter this to just subsets of a particular size, and so here let's just get the subsets of size two. And we can see that there are six of the, six possible subsets of size two. Again, this is the type of problem that the bigger your uh, input sequence is, the more combinations there are going to be. Finally, there is uh, the Cartesian. And so what you do is you basically take, we've got our data sequence, which has got four elements, and our data two, which has got three elements, and we're basically going to say, give me every combination of something from um, data and something from data two. And then I'm going to provide a function that combines them in some way. Obviously I could do anything here. It could be some kind of matrix multiplication, but here I'm just concatenating the strings. So if we have a look at what we get when we do the Cartesian of data with data two and we um, concatenate, what we'll see is a and E, A and F, A and G, and then B and E, B and F, B and G, and so on. So it's kind of all of the combinations of something from this list with something from this list.